Alright guys, what I have in front of me today is a 50 inch Panasonic Plasma Television. The model number reads TH-P50X50Z. This was manufactured in May 2012. Now this came in with a symptom of a described by the customer that it doesn't turn on at all. Uh, this was done through a power surge I believe. Now we've got this plugged in so power goes in there. Let's go into the front of the TV. We'll press the on button on the remote. Well, you see it doesn't do anything. There's no standby light, no nothing. So um, it shouldn't be a hard fix so I'll show you guys how to fix this. Okay guys so we've gone ahead and taken the back cover of the TV out. Now here's the power supply. The model number on the power supply reads B159-201 4H dot B159.0.041 forward slash E1 Now um, I've worked on these TVs before and all of them seem to have or this particular model with Panasonic um, they've got that uh, similar fault of a IC chip U203 shorting out which is on the reverse side of this board I'll take this board out and I'll show you how to do that and we'll get it up and running Okay, so we've got the board out of the TV. The model number reads B159-201 4H.B1590.041 forward slash E1. So if you're ordering this board, that's the part number you need. And I'll show you which area we'll need to work on. But it's not on this side, so we'll, uh, we'll flip this board over and we'll have a look. Okay, so we've got it across. Now this this one here is what you want to be replacing. It's the U203. It's an IC chip, so that's responsible. It's pretty much like a voltage regulator that um, turns the TV on and off and so and so. So I've done many of these previously, so I know that that's the one that's, um, that's been defective previously. So we'll go ahead and take that out. Alright, so this is the chip that we'll be replacing and we'll be putting in this this one here. Now when you're working on this, please pay attention to that little indention. Let me get the camera to focus in. Okay, there's a little indent on the chip itself. Just make sure that, that indent matches on this one here so you don't get it mixed up in the voltage in, voltage out aspects of it. So go ahead and take this chip out. Okay, so there's the old one, and we'll grab the new one. Okay, we'll solder that back into place, and off we go. Alright, so I've gone ahead and put the board back into the TV. We'll power it up, let's see how we go. Plug that in. Press the power button and let's see how we go. There we have it. It's back to life. Just toggle through some of these settings, so forth. Okay. Cool. Cool, so I've just switched it off. I'll switch it back on. Let's see how we do. Cool, so it's back to life. Everything's working. So just to recap what we did. We took the board out of the TV. We tested the IC U203. You can refer to the picture I've loaded up. And just replace that. Easy chip you can find on um, any online electronics store or the local electronics store. You should stock that and that's an easy fix and hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.